I don't have any more speakers on 3.42. Is there anybody else that wishes to address the board on this before I go to account, uh, board comments? Okay, then I'm going to go to board comments. Um, Supervisor Buster. Okay, I, I dissented on this, as most of you know. Um, and I think since it was passed, it's become clear that we, we don't really need it. Um, and attached to the agenda, there is a um, court case brought by the uh, University of California Regents uh, to protect uh, researchers at UCLA uh, that were being harassed at their homes um, by animal rights activists or some portion of animal rights activist groups. And the kind of harassment that they got there was far more severe than anything that was alleged to occur um, out in the uh, San Jacinto area. And I read from the court uh, text, they attempt to terrorize the employee and family members by violently pounding on the front door and shouting threats and obscenities through bullhorns. They vandalize the employee's property by etching slogans on doors, windows, by fire bombings, by breaking windows, by using hoses to flood homes, um, firecrackers in the middle of the night, turning over trash cans. You can you can read this in the in the um, court papers, which satisfied the superior court such that they issued an injunction against this. <laughs> so this could have been done in this instance if uh, any of these acts couldn't have been handled by the existing county ordinances by the sheriff. So there were several options here for the institution, the Church of Scientology, that were not used, that should have been used first before uh, the county was, was in effect used to put out a, a blanket countywide ordinance, uh, which is a very cumbersome kind of thing to, uh, to devise, to start out with, to deal with every possible circumstance that could arise or that has arisen in the past and could arise in the future. I don't see how you can fully anticipate uh, this kind of thing, and, and you have to strike, strike the right balance here, so it's better to do it on a case-by-case -case basis um, if, if existing ordinances that promote the peace and trespassing and all that are insufficient, then, then this is an available method. And certainly the institution with the wherewithal uh, that this church has could have, could have gone to court and, um, and sought an injunction if they felt that uh, uh, the sheriff wasn't adequate to, to uh, take care of the issue. So I, I, I see the ordinance as, as in effect counterproductive. It attempts to promise something that, in effect, that uh, can't be achieved, and it tends to inhibit, I mean, make, make the argument, well, you, you haven't seen any of these protests recently, as the sheriff report, because our ordinances have, have uh, pre prevented uh, unruly ordinances, but at the same time, they may have, may have intimidated people from uh, exercising properly and legally their rights to uh, protest or demonstrate. And so I don't think that's a good thing, and I, I think we should consider uh, consider uh, um, abandoning this ordinance at this point. I appreciate uh, Supervisor Buster's comments and his dissension. 